Okay guys, check it out. This is a very unplanned snake good video. This tank here is 2,500 liters. I had catfish in there before. And today we're putting in the snakehead. Now if you watched the, the wild snakehead update video, you know I have a problem with the snakehead getting out. It's amazing that they can get out. It's still baffling. They can jump so high, then they get to the edge of the tank and they can somehow get over to the edge of the tank and under the shade cloth and get out. It's unreal. I found seven one day. How many did I not find? A lot by the look of it. Uh, I just counted them. There's 54 now. Before it was 92. I think we had lost eight in the last video. So yeah, that's a lot gone, right? Lost a lot of it, a lot of fish just in the last three, four days. Uh, where did they go? I have no idea. Around the garden somewhere, I guess, until something found them and ate them. It's been raining here a lot. Like two rainstorms a day kind of rain. And I guess Snakehead being Snakehead, they wanted to wander. They wanted to go out and explore. Because that's what they do. And this is not the place to do it. <laughs> oh man. Uh, out of the, the seven that I found in one day, and I found a couple another day, they all survived except for one, except for two, I think. Two died. They were still alive when I found them, but I put them back in the tank, and they weren't right. They were swimming in circles, and just wasn't wasn't doing well. So let's take a look at what we got now. They're in this garbage can, and then we'll put them in the new tank. There they are. They look healthy. They look good. There's a couple of much bigger ones now than they were. They're very, very, very hard to catch. Much harder than the catfish, and the catfish aren't easy. But they look good. It's too bad they decided to uh, go for a walk. But nice, nice looking fish. I'm gonna put them in this bigger tank here. Here's a look at the tank. I got a broken flower pot. <laughs> My elbow is floating still. I have to fix that. I got some small elbows, some uh, unused new elbows. I just put them in here until I need them. <laughs> they can borrow them until the, I need them. I've gotten myself a lot of leaves. I think that's going to be an issue here. Probably going to be blocking up the pump with the leaves. And it's a little hot. I got shade cloth going over the top like a tent and on this side, this is the south side, I doubled it. Uh, this tank will get a top put on it at some point, it needs it. It actually needs a cage around it too because it balloons out. These tanks need a lot of work. But that's a job for another day, we've got to save these fish first. Now there's a long way from the water's edge to the top of this tank. I hope they can't jump that high. But we'll see. You know, if they do, they do. You know, it's just one of those things you got to deal with. It. It's very unfortunate. But that's life, huh? Okay, let's let's get them in there. Let's see them swimming. They look cool. They're a beautiful fish, huh? Such beautiful fish. They're not gonna like this. This is way, way too clean for them. But I put lots of hiding places in there. I'm sure this water will be plenty dirty soon enough. <laughs> I can't believe so many got out. I can't believe any got out. Holy man. I've had the, the catfish do it too and 
you look at the tank and you go, how? How did that happen? How could you have gotten out? But they're very, very determined to do what they want. I guess it's a nature thing. I have to say, they look really cool in there. This is a lot more water, it's a lot bigger area. So they can swim and be happy and grow big. For all the people that think that the tank before was too small, that's why they weren't growing, well, we will find out, huh? And quite a size difference. Like the catfish, there's some real small ones, and there's some that are, you know, three times the weight. Not, the, not so much the length, but three times the weight, they're a lot thicker. Not one of them has gone to the other end of the tank, huh? There's one sticking his head out of the two inch pipe. Oh, he's gonna go. The first one down the other end. Where's he go? Right into the old snakehead condominium. <laughs> These guys are coming up for here now. Cool. This is cool. Okay guys, well that's it. Wish them luck, I think they're going to need it. <laughs> it's uh, a, another unexpected problem, you know. But that's it. That's the part of the part of the process of figuring all this stuff out. I still think they're amazing looking fish, but you know, that's just me. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching.